Buenas noches. Hello, good, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm really fine. Good, good. I'm happy to. I'm happy to know that everybody's okay. Um, it's been a while. We haven't been able to see you. How have you been? Everything okay, teacher? And you? Good. Everything's been pretty good. Excellent. All right. Well, I see new faces. So welcome also for uh, the new faces um, that I see. Um, we're glad to see you. Um, we're glad to um, welcome you into our group and um, welcome to Level Intermediate. How do you guys feel? Uh, we're now in the next level and in, in the intermediate level. How do you feel about that? No, 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 I need no, um, no comments. It's, it's great because we improve our right. English skills. Right. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. We definitely improve our English skills. Yes. Very good. Well, class, um, first of all, um, I want to, um, it was welcome everybody. Um, and to level one of the intermediate course. Uh, this course is actually going to be a course um, a little bit different from the other courses in the sense that it's gonna be longer. I have to apologize. Uh, my neighbor's dogs are very excited right now. <laughs> and they're, um, they're, um, uh, they're making a, 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 big, a, a big fuss right now, but... Um, you know, anyway, um, yes, yeah, so um, like I said, this one is going to be a little bit different than um, the, the courses that we have, uh, that we've had in the past, uh, the beginner courses, because it's going to be a little bit longer, okay? Um, in the past, you probably remember that it, it has been four weeks of classes, or 20 days, right, which is a, an equivalent of 40 hours. But uh, for good this evening. level, good evening, Ana Claudia. But for this level, we're going to be having um, the course is going to be lasting five weeks, and it's going to be a total of um, uh, 25 hours or um, which is equivalent to um, 50 hours, okay? So that's what's, what, how it's gonna be, okay? So um, do you guys have any questions about that? Any questions? No questions at all? Okay. No, no, okay, all right. Well, in that case, um, let's, uh, first of all, um, let's start with the attendance. Uh, we're going to uh, begin with that. So just give me a moment while I look. Let me see where I find it, just give me a moment. Okay, all right, found it. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm gonna ask you guys to do is uh, make sure that your cameras are on so that we can see, uh, we can see you so that we can um, know that it's you that is answering, right? And um, you can either say present or presente, whatever you prefer, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start, um, let's see. Okay, so let's start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher, I thought that there would be another A starting for me in this course. <laughs> Good, evening, was teacher. Going... Good evening. Uh, you thought you what was going to happen? Oh, I thought that maybe in this course there will be another person starting with A. The, the name is starting with A. Maybe oh, I will be in the second place. I see. <laughs> I see. Okay. 
No, actually, um, you are the lucky one. You are our first A. Yes. Or, uh, okay. Yes. Um, so there is another Anna Claire. Yes, huh? I was going to mention that. There is another Anna, but... Oh, really? Yes. But oh, uh, nice. you are the first in the list, okay? Nice. The first Anna <laughs> okay. on the list. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, okay. So we have Anna Claudia. And then we have Anna Avit. Um, so, uh, Habit. The pronunciation Habit. is Habit. Okay, Habit. Habit or Habit? Habit or Habit? Which, what, what, what do you prefer? Habit. Habit, okay. All right. So, do you prefer Anna or Habit? Habit. Or together, Anna Habit. Habit. Just have it. Okay. All right. I'll thank remember you. Remember that. Okay. Thank you. Have have it. Um, and Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Dennis. Dennis. Dennis Orlando. Hi. How are you? Uh, Did you hear me? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. There you go. I found you. All right. Welcome. Uh, Thanks. Dennis Orlando, do you prefer to be called Dennis Orlando? What do you prefer? What do you go most? Uh, I prefer Dennis. Dennis. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you, Dennis. All right. And Edgar, Edgar Alfredo. Present teacher. I'm here. Present. Hey, wonderful, Edgar. Hey, ah, we had to. Uh, I'm Edgar uh, Alfredo too. Yeah, uh, Edgar. Yes, teacher. Uh, I I wanted to ask you. Hold on, just give me a moment. Okay. All right. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hello. Hello. Okay. Thanks. Um. All right. So then we have Edith Jorleni. Edith Jorleni. Is she here? Edith. Mm, no. No, I don't seem to see Edith Jorleni. Okay. So. Not here. All right. What about uh, Edwin Lagos? Hello. How are you? Okay. Welcome. Welcome, Edwin. Um, Thank and you. Um, uh, do you prefer to be called uh, Edwin or? Well, actually, Edwin is the only, the only, your only name, right? Only one name is Edwin. Only that. Okay, Edwin. Okay, got it. Let me meet you. Let me All meet right, you. nice to meet you too, Edwin. Okay. And Fabiola, is Fabiola here with us? Fabiola, are you here? Fabiola, no. Okay, she's not here. All right, what about Heidi? Heidi Eugenia. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Irene, Azucena. Irene, not here, Irene, no? Okay. All right. Ivan, is Ivan here? Ivan? No, I don't see Ivan. Okay. Um, Josue? Present teacher. Ah, oh, okay. There you are. Yeah, here. Welcome. Okay. Um, and Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Thank you. Is jury here? Jury. Present teacher. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No problem. All right, welcome, Jerry. And Thank Luis, you. is Luis here? Yes, present teacher. All right, welcome, Luis. What about Manuel? Is Manuel here? Manuel Alejandro? Mm, 
No, not here? Okay, all right, no problem. What about Natalia Re Rene? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, here. welcome. Okay. And you <laughs> here in this mall. It's Pardon my first me, time. yes. Yes, welcome, mm -hmm. uh, Natalia. Do you prefer- Nice to, to meet you. Na nice to meet you. And do you prefer to be called Natalia or Rene? Natalia. Natalia, okay. All right, welcome, Natalia. And is Wendy here? Sorry, teacher. No problem. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome, Wendy. Thanks, teacher. And Warner, do I have Warner here? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I'm the right, teacher. Okay, you're driving. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us, Warner. Okay, and Yvonne, is Yvonne here? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Yvonne. Thank you, teacher. And Edgardo Alfredo, is Edgardo Alfredo here? Oh, yes, I'm here. My name is Edgar Alfredo, actually. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. So you are not Edgardo? No. Okay. Um, let me find out then what's going on if they have you if they have you registered as Edgardo or if it was just a mistake from you know like maybe a typo. Okay, so I'll find out. Um, okay. so do you do you prefer to be called uh, Edgar or Alfredo? Alfredo. Okay, okay, I understand. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, would you do me a big favor, Edgar? Do you think you can yes. write your complete name um, so in so that it appears your complete name just for the purposes of Insafor? Um, Where? Okay, if you can do me a favor, that would be wonderful. Where? Um, eh, do you, okay, if you see, okay, actually, um, this is uh, something that I want everybody to um, to to listen to if you um, need to change your name uh, because it needs to be your complete name. If you if if you are on Zoom and you click on or you put the cursor on your picture, like right on the picture with that little box with your picture, you will see that there is a little. Um, there's a, a little box that has like three dots. Yeah, and then right there, um, it's if you click on that, it says rename, or I think in Spanish it says renombrar, right? And you just click on that, and then you you um, you know put in your name, your complete name. Okay. So if um, if everybody can do that for me, just make sure that you're, you have your complete name. And if you don't have your complete name, you can uh, change it right now. OK, done. All right, thank you. I really appreciate it. OK, all right. Um, OK, thank you, Edgar. Let's continue with um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Cristina? Yeah, I'm here, present. OK, welcome, Elizabeth Cristina. Do you prefer to be called Elizabeth or Cristina? Elizabeth, or maybe Ellie. Ellie, okay. Just Ellie. All right, that's fine. Thank you, Ellie. Okay. All right. And Jose Antonio? Jose Antonio? Jose Antonio Montes? Present. Okay, wonderful. Okay, welcome. Uh, do you thank have, you? Do you have a, a camera, Jose Montes? No, not yet. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. okay, I'm here. Let me see. Oh, okay, there he is. Okay, okay, good, okay. excellent. All right. Um, eh, okay, welcome. And do you prefer to thank be you. Jose or Antonio? Uh, Jose. Jose, okay, all right, great. Okay, thank you, Jose, welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And is uh, Jose Wilfredo here? 
Yes, I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Okay. And do you prefer to be called Jose, uh, Jose or Wilfredo? Um, even it's okay, but you can call me by my last name, Ayala. Okay. Or even Sorto. Okay, so Mr. Ayala. All right. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, guys, thank you. Um, let me just make sure that I didn't miss anybody uh, because I see that there are some people that have been coming in and out. So let me make sure that I have everybody. Do I have Edith Jorleni? No. Okay. What about Fabiola? No. Okay. And uh, Azucena? Hello, teacher. Uh, welcome, Azucena. Thank you. Okay. Um, and Ivan? Ivan? Ivan is still not here. Okay. Uh, what about um, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro. No, okay. And that's it. Okay, everybody else um, answered. All right, well, welcome, uh, welcome guys uh, for the people that just came in. Let me say once again, welcome. Um, and um, today, what we're gonna do to begin with, after the, the, um, the list of attendants, I want to go over the policies, uh, both for INSAFORP and for Inca Corporativo, but, but mostly for INSAFORP, right? Because this is um, the guidelines that we need to follow in order to be able to, um, you know, carry out this program, how it should be, how it's meant to me, and um, how INSAFORP wants it to be carried out. So um, I'm going to start by sharing a PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you can see it, um, or better said, when you can see it. Okay. Okay, can now. You see it? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. 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 Um, yes. Okay, great. So, um, this is uh, well. This, this is uh, um, our our presentation to be able to um, introduce the guidelines, the policies and guidelines for in support. So this is uh, the courses English for Work program. It's the intermediate module one, and your facilitator is Jessica Lisa de la Okay, so um, just a little bit of um, information about your facilitator because. Uh, well, for some of you, eh, um, you, I'm new and you've never seen me before. So let me just present myself. And for others, well, you guys already know me, but um, you know, uh, you'll know a little bit more about me. Okay. So um, we have the well. Um, this is left. Well, this is actually in Spanish. This, this uh, presentation. So I'll just um, do it in Spanish. So this um. Eh, uh, from the Formación Académica Internacional Baccalaureate Certificate from the Geneva, um, Switzerland. Um, the, we have the principles of the of written English, conference, uh, conferencia didáctica para profesores, didáctica para la planificación y facilitación del idioma inglés, uh, American Inspiration Tools to Teach, to Learn uh, for Pleasure, y Experiencia Laboral, is uh, la is facilitadora en Pro Lingua Institute, facilitadora en Instituto Especializado a Nivel Superior, facilitadora en Centro Cultural Sudamericano, profesora de inglés en Colegio Americano 2000, y profesora de inglés en Colegio Sudamericano de Inglés. So that's just a few of the places where I have worked in the past. Um, all right, so um, getting into the actual information about the course. Um, los requerimientos, como le decía anteriormente, esta eh, presentación de PowerPoint um, está hecha eh, específicamente en español para que eh, podamos entenderlo un 100%, ¿verdad? Eh, y no haya ningún inconveniente, ¿verdad? No, no haya ningunos, uh, eh, pues, um, 
eh, malos entendidos o cualquier clase, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes lo van a entender perfectamente. Entonces, um, déjenme contarles de que, bueno, primero uh, lo que pide Insaporpe es de que su um, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Es lo que hablábamos hace poquito, ¿verdad? Que um, necesito que su nombre en el... En, Uh, cuando se conecta Zoom, esté completo. Eso incluye los dos nombres y los dos apellidos, ¿verdad? Así como se utiliza en el, eh, en el DUI, ¿verdad? Claro, a veces puede ser que por X motivo solo tengamos un nombre o un apellido, pero sí debe de ir como, como está en el DUI, ¿verdad? Y eso incluye también si hay nombre de casada, ¿verdad? También. Ahora, eh, Vamos a hablar acerca de que, bueno, en el caso de aquellas personas que están como oyentes, ¿verdad? Que ustedes uh, ya saben um, quiénes son, ¿verdad? Porque pues um, ya han hablado eh, con ustedes anteriormente. Entonces, en el caso de ustedes, al final de su nombre, ustedes van a poner, agregar la palabra oyente y tiene que ir en paréntesis, ¿ok? Uh, entonces, va a poner, por ejemplo, en mi caso sería Jessica, dice el carrera de Landa Verde, y en, pro, en paréntesis, oyente. Así tendría que ir, ¿verdad? Eh, y la razón es porque Insaporpa sí lo pide. Uh, es para cuestión de auditoría. Si en algún momento uh, Insaporpa entra a nuestra clase, ¿verdad? Eh, pues um, de repente ellos uh, mandan a una persona, se mete en la clase. Entonces, um, uh, tiene que ver quiénes son los que están conectados y pues... Um, Uh, deben de también saber quiénes son los oyentes. Entonces, por eso de que ellos piden en paréntesis que se ponga la palabra oyente. Entonces, um, usted ya sabe quién es, ¿verdad? Eh, si usted le aplica eso, entonces, por favor, haga ese cambio. También otro requerimiento de... Um, eh, otro requerimiento um, de eh, Saforpe es de que tenemos que tener la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Ok, entonces yo sé que de repente por X motivo, pues um, algo pasa y pues tenemos que apagarla porque no sé, o sea, um, no sé, no, no, me, eh, algún inconveniente puede pasar, ¿verdad? pero eh, pues eso que, que solo sea que okay, un, un, un minuto, dos minutos, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Pero en sí la cámara tiene que estar encendida durante toda la sesión, ¿verdad? Eso es algo que nuevamente no es cuestión de inglés corporativo, sino que es ciencia por que lo pide nuevamente por au, cuestión de auditoría, porque realmente ellos quieren saber que usted en realidad está allí, que está recibiendo la clase, ¿verdad? Porque si usted solo se conectó y tiene la cámara apagada, pues no sabemos realmente está usted ahí, no está usted ahí. Entonces, Insafor, pues como son los que en realidad están pagando por esta beca, por así decirlo, entonces ellos quieren saber quiénes son los, uh, los participantes que realmente pues están eh, aprovechando el programa, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es que piden que, el, los, um, de que la cámara esté encendida en todo momento. También, por favor, minimizar el sonido ambiente, ambiente lo más posible, ¿verdad? Eh, pues ustedes saben que pues todos estamos recibiendo clases desde nuestro propio hogar, ¿verdad? O en nuestros trabajos, en algunos casos. Entonces, obviamente, va a haber um, ruido ambiental. Eso no podemos, uh, no podemos cambiar eso, pero sí podemos minimizarlo a, a lo más posible. ¿verdad? Para si, por ejemplo, usted tiene un cuarto en su casa donde usted podría quizás encerrarse, ¿verdad? Y cerrar la puerta y así puede minimizar. O uh, si no es posible de esa forma, entonces hacerlo a través de, tal vez, a, a ponerse auricular, auricular para que de esa forma uh, pues no se oiga tanto lo que está pasando al cerrador y también usted se pueda escuchar más claro. Y por supuesto la participación activa, ¿verdad? Y por eso mismo también um, hay que tener la cámara encendida y todo porque queremos asegurarnos de que en el lado usted está allí, está participando, ¿verdad? Eh, usted está prestando atención en clase, ¿verdad? No solamente es que está conectado y está que sé yo, viendo tele o qué sé yo, ¿verdad? sino que realmente usted está en la clase, ¿verdad? Está tratando de participar porque para poder participar tenemos que tener, estar 
atentos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es importante. ¿Alguna preguntita acerca de los requerimientos? No. No. Any question, teacher? No questions at all. Okay. Muy bien, entonces continuamos con la siguiente parte. <coughs> que, eh, bueno, es en cuanto a la asistencia. Se requiere una asistencia del de 100% de las clases, ¿ok? Um, entonces necesitamos asegurarnos de que podemos realmente, pues, a estar en nuestro horario. Uh, yo sé que, pues, cada uno de ustedes ha expresado que sí puede uh, eh, participar en nuestro horario. Entonces, esperamos que así sea, ¿verdad? Que usted realmente, uh, pues, si se ha escogido este horario, entonces puede usted, um, pues, cumplir con ello, ¿verdad? Entonces, esperamos de que uh, usted pueda llegar al 100%. Um, y también la asistencia no solamente se tomará al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa, ¿verdad? Entonces, en otras palabras, no es solamente que se va a conectar y después, eh, después de unos cuantos minutos se desconecta y ya estuvo, ¿verdad? O solo se conecta en los momentos de que se toma asistencia y ya, pero no. Tiene que ser durante toda la sesión para que le cuenta a un 100% de la clase. Y hablando acerca de la asistencia, cuando se toma, eso, la asistencia se toma tres, en tres ocasiones. Se toma a las 8, ¿verdad? O más o menos esa hora cuando nos conectamos. Después, eh, más o menos ahí como a las 9, ¿verdad? Dependiendo en qué estamos, en qué actividad estamos, pero más o menos como es ahora. Y luego al finalizar la clase como en las 9.55. Eh, pero como les digo, tienen que estar presente en toda la clase, no solo en esas tres ocasiones. Y se tomará como válido al escuchar al participante decir presente o pre uh, or present y tener la cámara encendida. O sea, no solamente de que va a decir presente, ¿verdad? O present, y pues ahí no sabemos quién dijo eso, ¿verdad? Podría ser su, su uh, hermano, su hermana, su hijo, ¿verdad? qué sé yo. Entonces, no tenemos que asegurarnos de que es la persona correcta y no solamente de tener la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? Sino que también uh, tiene que su, en, abrir su micrófono y así poder, uh, eh, pues, escucharlos. Y uh, también va a haber sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Entonces, ustedes tienen la oportunidad de tener una sesión el uno a uno. Eh, y esas sesiones son muy importantes porque pues um, ahí ustedes pueden aclarar cualquier cosa. Yo sé que siempre hay dudas, o sea, eh, es imposible que uno aprenda un idioma y que no tenga ni una sola duda, pero o sea, pues sí, entonces no estuviéramos aprendiendo el idioma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues por eso es de que es importante que ustedes, uh, pues yo lo que les, les sugiero es de que um, anoten preguntas, todas las preguntas que les ha surgido hasta el momento, anótenlo en un cuaderno, ¿verdad? En donde ustedes toman eh, la, los apuntes de la clase, qué sé yo. Escríbanlo ahí para que el día que les toque la sesión, ustedes puedan hacer esas preguntas, ¿verdad? Porque si después um, de la nada nosotros, um, qué sé yo, eh, pues decimos, ah, sí, 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 um, ay, no, ya no me acuerdo qué es lo que quería saber, ¿verdad? Entonces, obviamente, si lo hacemos así, eh, como, como dice el dicho, ¿verdad? Que va ropa, entonces obviamente no, no vamos a, a, a poder sacar buen provecho. Pero si nos acordamos, sí, sí, quiero, quiero uh, preguntar esto, lo escribimos, entonces ya podemos aclarar esa duda en esa sesión, ¿verdad? También si tienen problem, problemas o preguntas acerca de eh, la plataforma, pues también con eso, ¿verdad? Y um, quiero ver, y por último, uh, los permisos no están disponibles. Esto lo que significa es lo siguiente, <clears throat> aunque aprecio mucho, mucho, mucho el hecho de que estén ustedes um, ahí, uh, pues, um, siempre asegurándose de que 
de que yo sepa qué les pasó con usted, ¿verdad? Sí, que, que pues eh, tal vez están trabajando, están en, no sé, están enfermos o qué sé yo. Um, pues, o sea, gracias, les agradezco mucho que, que, me, que lo, me lo hagan saber, porque por lo menos así yo sé qué ha pasado con ustedes y puedo ver cómo les puedo ayudar, ¿verdad? Para poder tal vez poner salida o qué sé yo. Eh, pero lastimosamente así que yo les voy a, a poder decir, sí, sí, no hay problema, falta clase. Ahí sí no puedo lastimosamente porque no está dentro de mi jurisdicción el poder darles ese permiso, ¿verdad? Ni yo como facilitadora ni nadie en eh, inglés corporativo puede hacerlo porque eso fue solamente, eh, pues son, son las, las, uh, las, eh, digamos, las directrices que, que tenemos en Sapor, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, pues solamente poder tener, tener eso presente, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre eso? Eh, sí, teacher, va a mandar otra vez igual el calendario para saber con anticipación mm. qué día nos toca. Sí, sí, claro, claro que sí. Uh, okay. Se los mandaré dentro de un, un momentito. Claro okay. que sí. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta que tengan sobre eso? No. No sé si más adelante va a tocar algo de la plataforma. Uh, ¿La plataforma en qué sentido? Eh, antes hacíamos el middle eh, test al finalizar dos semanas, pero como este es de cinco semanas, no sé cómo se va a manejar. Me imagino que más adelante lo voy a explicar. Ah, sí, sí, sí. En este caso, sí. Uh -huh. Correcto. Okay. Ok, bueno, ¿alguna otra pregunta acerca de asistencia? Teacher, but it's, it's an, it, it, si es un, una emergencia, an emergency, but in the moment in, when, it's, when we start the classes, no before, sino que durante la clase. Uh, o sea, le, lo que, o sea, pues lo que le siempre le animamos a hacer es de que trate de conectarse lo más que usted pueda, ¿verdad? Eh, pues entendemos que a veces a, hay emergencias, ¿verdad? Pero en sí, eh, de que yo le puedo decir, le doy permiso, no se lo puedo dar. Porque como digo, no es dentro de mi jurisdicción. Usted le dice, sí, sí, no se preocupe, ¿verdad? No puedo hacer eso. No, no sé si me explico. O sea, eh, la, la idea es de que usted um, haga todo lo, lo posible, ¿verdad? lo humano posible para poder estar dentro de la clase, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que, lo que, es, lo que se for, espera, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Alguna otra preguntita? ¿No? Ok. Muy bien. Entonces continuamos. Um, uh, aquí están lo de las evaluaciones, lo que pregunta Ana Claudia. Ok, empezamos. Eh, primeramente, tener en cuenta de que es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. ¿Qué significa eso? De que cuando usted hace la plataforma, debe usted eh, tener por lo menos un 80% eh, ar o arriba, ¿verdad? Para poder um, tener acceso a completar el, el curso, ¿verdad? Si usted tiene 75 o 79, incluso lastimosamente no vamos a poder hacer nada, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, eso es lastimosamente pues, uno de los requisitos que en Sapor pide. Entonces, ahora, el obtener 80% no es algo que no se pueda lograr. No es algo que no se pueda lograr. ¿Por qué? Porque la plataforma, algo de lo muy eh, beneficioso de la plataforma es de que uh, la, la plataforma le permite seguir practicando y practicando y practicando hasta poder llegar al 100%. Entonces, eh, usted obtuvo un, un 60. 
y después usted siguió practicando y se le subió 80 y siguió practicando y le subió entonces a 100, entonces ahí está, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces eso es lo, lo bueno de la plataforma de que le da la oportunidad y no es que le va a bajar puntos, no es como que el, obtuvo 60% y después lo obtuvo eh, perfectamente todo, pero solo llegó al 90, ¿verdad? Porque um, se equivocó la primera vez. No, sino que la plataforma le da el 100% si usted se, se lo hace correcto, ¿verdad? Entonces, import, sin importar cuántas veces usted haya intentado. Entonces, en realidad es algo bastante posible. Ahora, lo que sí siempre les recuerdo es de que lo que tiene mayor ponderación son los midterms y final exam. Entonces, no vayan por nada del mundo a, a faltar de hacer esos, esos dos exámenes, el midterm y final exam, porque aunque usted, um, aunque usted haga todo, eh, o sea, todas los, los, las tareas, pero usted no completó el final exam, usted no completó el midterm, lastimosamente la, la nota no le va a dar. Entonces, por favor, asegúrese de completar eso. Ahora, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Entonces va el primero a la clase, ¿verdad? De hecho, la videoconferencia y después va la tarea, ¿verdad? Así es como está en la plataforma. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que ser completas antes de cada viernes de la medianoche, ya que, se registro, que ese registro es enviado a ISAFOR semanalmente. Pero entonces um, creo que yo ya pues les he explicado en el pasado, pero para aquellas personas que quizá no esto es nuevo, uh, pues todas las semanas yo tengo eh, el deber de subir esas notas, ¿verdad? Yo paso todas las noches, la, las notas suyas, ¿verdad? Un cuaderno y los mando y esto pues se hace semanalmente. Así de que por favor tienen que completarlo. Ahora, eh, Puesto que nosotros estamos empezando un martes, uh, en teoría, pues, uh, para poder completar la semana completa, uh, tendría que hacer hasta el lunes de la semana. La siguiente semana. Por ejemplo, uh, sería que en vez de el eh, en vez de que se, que se tenga que completar para el viernes, de esta semana tendría que completarse para el lunes, ¿verdad? Para que ya yo entonces ya el martes por la mañana yo estoy enviando los, el reporte, ¿verdad? Eso así tendría que ser. Ahora, la fecha límite para um, terminar el examen medio o el midterm es el lunes 26 de julio. ¿Ok? Y esto es antes de la medianoche. Así de que uh, ustedes tienen hasta ese día lunes para poder completar. Y la fecha límite para terminar, para terminar el examen final o el final exam es el lunes 16 de agosto antes de la medianoche. Y de hecho este es el último día que nosotros eh, tenemos clase. El último, el último día de clase sería el 16 de agosto. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué vamos hasta el 16 de agosto? ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien me puede decir por qué llegamos hasta el 16 de agosto? Porque son cinco semanas. Vacaciones. Eh, hay la vacación. Sí, hay vacaciones y son cinco semanas, correcto. Entonces, por eso es que llegamos hasta esa fecha. En, Pero en la plataforma, perdón, en la plataforma dice que el 19. Sí. No sé si es un error. No. Eh, la plataforma de siempre va a decir otra fecha y la razón por qué la plataforma siempre dice otra fecha es porque, eh, la, porque por, uh, por um, decreto de el, por Insafor tiene que, o sea, tiene que quedar abierto a la plataforma para cuestiones administrativas. Entonces, por eso es de que tiene que quedar abierta la plataforma a más tiempo. Pero ustedes como, como eh, alumnos tienen hasta esa fecha para completarlo. Es solamente eh, queda abierto para que el SEPOR pueda eh, auditorear. ¿Ok? Y Cher, yo no sé si alguien más tendrá el mismo inconveniente uh -huh. que yo, pero 
yo puedo entrar a la plataforma, pero no me han cargado el curso. Y ya pregunté por WhatsApp y me dijeron que en estos días me lo iban a subir. Me preocupa que de repente llegue el lunes y tal vez yo no he hecho las tareas y no, no me gusta hacerlos a la carrera. Me gusta siempre hacerlas después de clase. No sé si me ayuda usted ahí para que me okay. puedan agilizar ese proceso. Vamos, vamos, a, a, vamos a hacer un seguimiento con eso. Gracias. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, bueno, y, um, y por, por último, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma, como siempre, y no se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión, ¿verdad? Por eso es de que um, usted va a ver que no vamos a utilizar nada que es de, una ter de, de, de terceros, ¿verdad? Um, y, pero sin embargo, el manual puede ser, um, <coughs> uh, pues, bueno, de hecho, el manual... Creo que ya, si no me equivoco, ya se envió al grupo. Entonces, um, si usted no lo ha descargado de la plataforma, la puede descargar del grupo de WhatsApp. Y hablando del grupo de WhatsApp, mmm, quiero asegurarme, ¿todos ya se, ya se unieron al grupo? Sí, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes. Si alguien no se ha unido todavía, lo invitamos a que lo haga cuanto antes. Y si alguien no... Uh, no sabe cómo unirse, eh, podemos um, explicarla ahorita. No sé si hay alguien ahorita que no tiene idea cómo unirse al grupo. Ok, ok, muy bien. Entonces esperamos que para más tardar mañana ya todos estén en el grupo eh, para que pues todos podamos estar comunicados, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿alguna preguntita acerca de estas tareas y evaluaciones? No, por el momento. Gracias. No. No, te he Ok, muy bien. Entonces seguimos. Ah, uh, oh, perdón. Oops. Okay. ok, la plataforma eh, que utilizamos Zoom, ¿verdad? Zoom Pro. Primeramente, el botón de silencio. Todos sabemos cómo utilizar ese botón de silencio, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que es más, si no me equivoco, prácticamente todos es, lo tienen en silencio, ¿verdad? Eh, lo cual significa que me da a entender que sí, ustedes ya saben cómo utilizarlo. Ahora, tengan cuidado, por favor, con ese botón porque a veces no nos damos cuenta y pues está abierto y eso a veces causa interrupciones en la clase, ¿verdad? Especialmente pues si usted está en un ambiente con muchas personas a su alrededor, ¿verdad? Y que hay mucho uh, ruido ambiental. Entonces tenga cuidado con eso. Eh, también especialmente cuando se va a participar, ¿verdad? Que de repente pues abrimos los micrófonos para participar, no hay nada de malo, pero solo asegurarse de que al terminar de participar uh, también se cierra el, el micrófono, ¿verdad? Uh, porque si no se queda abierto, pues después los demás no pueden escuchar eh, pues la explicación ni nada, ¿verdad? Y a uh, la cámara, que yo creo que también pues uh, todos ya saben utilizar la cámara, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Alguien que tenga problemas ahorita con su cámara? ¿No? Ok, muy bien. Entonces, acuérdense eh, lo que hemos hablado. Cámaras, por favor, siempre encendidas, ¿verdad? Para que, pues, um, no tengamos ningún problema en cuestión de, um, eh, de esa forma cuando ellos están auditoreando, ¿verdad? Y dicen, hey, o sea, ¿qué pasa aquí si dicen que hay 25 alumnos, pero en la cámara solo, eh, 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 perdón, en toda la videoconferencia solo aparecen 10 personas? ¿Cómo es eso? ¿verdad? Porque no sé si ustedes han notado que cuando se graba, <coughs> cuando se graba eh, la clase, eh, solamente salen las personas que tienen cámara encendida. Aquellas que no tienen cámara encendida, no, entonces no se graba. Eh, y por lo tanto, entonces aparecerán como que ustedes no están. Por eso es de que es importante que ustedes pongan su cámara para que ustedes aparezcan en el video. Y cuando el soporte eh, audite, que siempre lo hace, o sea, ellos no crean que no, ellos, um, mira, 
todas las mañanas el, el trabajo de ellos es meterse a las clases y auditoriar. Pero ellos es por eso de que nosotros tenemos en la plataforma, pero en el, uh, el playlist, ¿verdad? Que para la clase y que el video siempre está ahí antes de las 8 de la mañana, el siguiente día, porque a las 8 y el support, y entonces se mete y empieza a ver la clase. Entonces, si usted no aparece, eh, en, con su cámara encendida no va a aparecer en el video y por lo tanto va a aparecer como que usted no está. ¿Ok? Entonces les explico ese detallito acerca de la cámara. Y también um, el chat. Eh, tenemos el chat, ¿verdad? Que eh, si en caso uh, ustedes, por ejemplo, si están en, en, um, por, a través de la computadora, van a ver que hay una barra de herramientas eh, que está en la parte superior. ¿Verdad? Y entonces, um, o oh, perdón, en la parte inferior, perdón. Um, y entonces ahí um, está la palabra chat, ¿verdad? Es un, como una burbuja, entonces usted le aprieta y ahí puede usted um, puede uh, conversar uh, con, conmigo directamente como profesora o puede usted uh, conversar ahí um, con, con toda la clase, puede mandar un mensaje para todos, para Utilizamos bastante esto en cuestión de que cuando preguntamos por vocabulario o cosas así. Y utilizamos también el breakout rooms, que ustedes creo que están más familiarizados con eso, que son prácticamente um, cuartos donde se asignan um, para trabajar con compañeros, ¿verdad? puede ser en parejas o en grupos pequeños para que de esa forma tengan la oportunidad de interactuar. En esos grupos um, de breakout rooms uh, se les asigna un tiempo, ¿verdad? Para que hagan la actividad y también se les asigna um, eh, pues los, los participantes. Así que eh, por favor asegúrese de que se vaya al grupo y que esté participando, ¿verdad? Porque si no, pues se pierde esa práctica. Y por último, eh, cuando ustedes están dentro de la sesión de breakout rooms, cuando ustedes necesitan pedir alguna de mi ayuda, ¿verdad? Yo no soy dentro del grupo. Ustedes pueden poner el, apretar el botón de ask for help. Y ahí entonces me indica a mí, ¿verdad? Fulanito está pidiendo ayuda. Eh, y entonces está en tal grupo. Y entonces yo me puedo meter a ese grupo para ayudarles. ¿Tienen ustedes alguna pregunta sobre eso? No, no, ninguna. ¿No? Ok. Ok. Bueno, entonces llegamos ahí al final de esta presentación. ¿Alguna duda que tengan antes que continuemos? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Entonces, ¿todo está claro? Sí, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien, entonces en ese, en ese caso, pues ah, vamos a empezar eh, con nuestra sesión de clases. Eh, ¿Todos tienen el manual virtual? Perdón, perdón, digital. Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Todos lo tienen? Ok, ¿alguien que no lo tenga? No. Yo no lo tengo. No lo tiene, ok. Está en el grupo de WhatsApp, Andrés. Sí, ahí. Ok, eh, sí, ahí por, por el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí lo puede encontrar. Pero entonces lo puede El problema fue que me uní hasta ahora. Y a lo mejor lo enviaron estos días atrás. Um, a, ahorita, uh, ¿cuándo se, se, se unió? Hoy por la tarde. Hoy por la tarde. Sí, teacher, yo me acabo de unir también. Ok. ¿Alguien otra? ¿Hay otra persona más que se acabe, que se acabe de unir? ¿Qué? ¿O me ha dicho que todavía no se ha unido? Ok, pregunto porque para, para sí, no tiene que estarlo mandando varias veces. Ya lo reenviaron, teacher. 
Sí, ya vi. Pero, uh, ¿alguien más que le falta unirse? No, ahí está, ¿verdad? Ok. Y también voy a, a compartir. Um, vamos a ver si me voy un minutito. Okay. Bueno, dentro de poco voy a, a también enviar el, uh, la, la programación para las sesiones uno a uno. Uh, bueno, entonces uh, vamos a empezar. Y nuevamente, por favor, díganme cuando ustedes ya pueden visualizar mi, mi PowerPoint. We see. Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. So we're going to start our presentation here. <clears throat> this is the intermediate module one. It's unit four. Uh, sorry, oh, no, sorry. Not unit four, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know the video, so give me a moment. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Um, okay, let's try this again. Can you guys see it? Yes, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Yes. Yeah, all right. So let's try this again. So this is the intermediate module one, unit one, the, the restaurant industry. And today is Tuesday, July 6, 2021. It's day number one. And your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, uh, we have this conversation uh, that we're gonna be analyzing. And, but before we analyze the conversation, I have some questions that I want you guys to be thinking about right now as I ask them. Don't, don't give me answers, just think about it in your head. First of all, what is your favorite restaurant? Don't tell me, just think about it. Everybody has a favorite restaurant. Probably you have you know, more than one favorite restaurant, but I want the favorite restaurant, okay? And what makes this restaurant a special place? Why do you like this restaurant so much, in other words? And last question is, what is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? We understand the difference between the two, right? Do we understand takeout and delivery service? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> good. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get you to work in groups, small groups, and we're going to be discussing these three questions. What's your favorite restaurant? What makes this restaurant a special place? And what is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? So I'm going to be asking you guys to, we're going to be going into breakout rooms so that we can discuss this. Um, Warner, are you on two devices right now? Yes, you too. Okay. All right. Let's make sure I put you, to, I put you together. We don't want to, we don't have, we don't want to have a, a split Warner again. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys, because we're going to be in groups about three or four people, uh, most of you are going to be in groups of three, so I'm going to give you guys about um, eight minutes, eight minutes to discuss 
this these questions, okay? So let's open all the rooms. Okay. Uh, Wendy, what is your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is a uh, Kailan Chino. It's uh, Chinese restaurant. Food. Chinese food, yes. Okay. And uh, what makes this restaurant a space a special place? I don't know. Let me see. Um, Do you like the food? Yeah, yeah I or like the service and uh, my favorite. Sorry, sorry. Uh, is the service, the good service, and the food because the dishes is more is big dishes and the much food. I don't know what why uh, the China 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 Chinese food is very big. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and this restaurant. Is, is this case. Okay, and what is more popular, uh, take out or delivery service? Uh, delivery service. Okay. And what about you, Elizabeth? What is your favorite restaurant? Um, I think my favorite restaurant is Don Lee. Chinese food. Uh, I really like the, that food. Okay, and where is that restaurant? Excuse me? Uh, where is that restaurant? Where uh, there is one in at uh, Antiguo Cuscatlán. Okay, okay. And what makes this restaurant a special place? Well, I like the food and I like the sushi. So I think the, the, the food is really good. Ah, okay. And what is more popular? Takeout or delivery service? Delivery uh, service. Okay. So, uh, in my case, my favorite restaurant is uh, Expresiones. It's a restaurant in Santa Ana. And uh, I like that restaurant because uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, options in the menu. Uh, you have uh, desserts and you have uh, sandwiches and you have um, a big meal and I, I like the quality of the restaurant and uh, for example I, I think that food is delicious but it's not <laughs> <laughs> okay unanimous unanimous vote yeah. yes uh -huh. okay we all agree. Delivery is the, the most popular option. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. How about you? Which is your favorite restaurant? <laughs> oh, well, let me see. Let me see. Um, I used to like this restaurant, but um, it no longer exists in El Salvador. Um, it was called Opa. Which one? Opa. 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 It was a. Can you sure? Korean? No. Or Chinese? No, it was uh, Greek, Greek food. Oh. Really? Yeah. It was Greek food and um, really good. Really, really good food. But um, unfortunately, um, they closed. So, you know. Mm. Yeah, so I wasn't able to um, continue going, but um, it was like, it was authentic. That's what I really liked about it because it was authentic um, it, uh, Greek food. So I really liked that. Um, and I guess, um, you know, other than that, I would say uh, what I really like is uh, there's a, it's called um, Taqueria Azteca. It's close to my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, uh, well, it's Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. You would be happy if you were my neighbor because I got Felipe's tacos, right? I almost next to. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I don't like it that much. You know, I'm, I'm not really much of a taco fan, but I love their burritos. I really, really yeah. love their burritos. They're really, really good. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, that's, that's what I mostly like, the, the burritos. That's what I always go for. I'm not so much of a taco person, but I do like the burritos. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you guys finished? Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. There's a few seconds left, so we'll see each other in the main room. Okay. Okay, thank you. Juan Francisco, I thought you wouldn't join. Uh, the name is Kimarao, uh, because the, the uh -huh. other restaurant similar to Faisca did uh, uh, the beef. Uh, Reality is. Uh, is that restaurant in San Salvador or where uh, is located? No, it is. Uh, I go in. Uh, cuando viaje a you went. Oh, Portugal, yes. When you when you went to where? Portugal. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes, it's very similar. Uh, the Faisca. Uh, the Faisca. the 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 cook. Okay, so I hope you all had enough time um, to discuss your the questions. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Everybody had yes. Enough? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so tell me, um, let's discuss these questions. Tell me first, the first question was, um, what is your favorite restaurant? So tell me, what's your favorite restaurant? When it's My favorite is La Bodega Italiana, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Sounds good. All right. What about the rest of you? The Pizza Hut, teacher. Pizza Hut, too. You too? Okay. Why Pizza Hut? Because they have the most delicious pizza and have delicious pastas. 
Okay, sounds good. Good, good. Okay, what else? Well, my favorite restaurant is um, Italian food. Okay, okay. Uh, but what, 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 um, what is the name? El Rosal. And I told you to my group uh, that um, and the Italian food for me is the favorite. Lasagna is my favorite uh, 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 food. And, and in my city, uh, we talk about, about in the city, uh, the special and many restaurants is delivery food, but at the same time, it's a takeout food. Okay. Uh, um, mostly, mostly is is <coughs> delivery food. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Good. Okay. Um, all right. Next question was what what makes this the restaurant that you like your favorite restaurant? What makes it so special? In general, tell me what makes it so special. Okay, maybe the environment uh, can be like familiar, or also can be if you go out there with your friends. So need to be with a good music, and the environment has to be. Um, I don't know, maybe with a good tables okay. and a okay. good condition. All right, good. We call that atmosphere, the atmosphere. So you, you have a good atmosphere. Okay, okay, good. Yes, very good. Okay, so have a good atmosphere. So good music. Can we use the word environment too or not? Not no. in this context, no. Okay. Use, okay. Uh, yeah, use atmosphere. atmosphere. Ah, okay. okay. Use the mouse. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? Is there any Maybe similar that's... term than the atmosphere? Sorry, could you repeat that again? Is there a similar term to, to call it than atmosphere? It's that it sounds strange for me. The atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, atmosphere in a restaurant? I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, the atmosphere, uh, it's talking about uh, the whole thing that surrounds, right? Even, even like, um, um, we can ambient, say... Ambient, excuse teacher, ambient, ambient, the similar ambient? Um, ambient, how do you spell it? It's uh, a, ambient. Como ambiente. Yes, ambient. Oh, the ambient. Oh, ambient. Yes, yeah. ambient. Yes, yeah. ambient. In the place, and you can buy the something in one place because the price, the price is all important. Yeah. The price and the ambient. Ambient. How, how pronounce ambient? Yeah, we can, we can use the word ambient. Yes. Ambient. Um, although correct. it's. Okay. Yes, although it's more common to use atmosphere. Okay. Teacher, when you were explaining atmosphere is referring to all around. What about this word commodity? Commodities. No, commodities are the physical things. Ah, uh, okay, like a gym, like stuff like that. Yeah, like like, a, uh, like facilities and things that okay. make the make the, a good experience. But those okay. are like the physical things. The atmosphere yes. can can involve things that you don't have to touch. For example, mm -hmm. like the music, the color, the colors, mm -hmm. you know, um, the lighting. Um, that is all include is included in the atmosphere. Even the type of people that are there, you know, all of that is included in the atmosphere. Okay, okay. thank you. The adjective, for him, for example. A peaceful or noisy, or I don't know, a, a sería antes, the atmosphere. No, the atmosphere refers to everything, all of those things, all of those adjectives that you can talk about, you know, if it's noisy or it's calm, or there's mm -hmm. uh, good lighting or very dark, et cetera, et cetera. All of those are talking about the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. When you try to say in a sentence, you the first uh, word is the adjective and then the word atmosphere. 
is my question. Oh, okay. Yeah, like for example, there's a good atmosphere. Yes. Because uh -huh. the word atmosphere, peaceful atmosphere, noisy right. atmosphere. Yes. Is that, exactly. Thank you. Uh, because the word atmosphere is a noun. Okay. So, yes, we would say, for example, there's a good atmosphere, there's a, um, a very um, noisy atmosphere, there's a, a um, there's a still atmosphere, okay? Um, yeah, so we, we can we can use all of those kind of expressions. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank okay. you, Dish. Yeah. Thank you well, for that info. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right. Um, and my last question is, so what do you guys think? What's more common, takeout or delivery? The delivery service. Delivery. Yeah, delivery. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. Now, before we continue, uh, let's take attendance because we're past the, the nine o'clock mark. So let's take again, once again, the attendance. We have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Ana Habit. Present. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Dennis. Present teacher. Um, Edgar. Edgar. Present Adel. teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Um, Edith. Jorleni. Je Edith Jorleni. No. Okay. Um, Erwin. Yeah. Present teacher, present. Okay, present. wonderful. Uh, Fabiola? Fabiola? No? Okay. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Irene? Present teacher. Okay, great. Ivan? Ivan? No? Okay. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Great, uh, Juan Francisco. Excellent teacher. Excellent. Um, jury. Jury. Jury is no longer on. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Jury. Okay, good. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, good. Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro, no. Okay. Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, Warner. Present teacher, sorry, sorry teacher, present. No problem, okay, no problem. Um, Yvonne? Present. Okay. Uh, Edgar? Edgar Alfredo? I'm here. Oh, wait a second. Wow. Me acabo yeah, de dar uh, cuenta. Dos Edgar Alfredo. Yes. Ay, me acabo de dar cuenta que los dos, los dos son Edgar Alfredo. You didn't realize oh. that? He told you at the oh. beginning. <laughs> No, I, I heard Edgar, <laughs> but I didn't hear the Alfredo part. Oh, but yeah. you just told okay, me so, Edgardo. Uh-huh, yes, because exactly, because I confused it, because in my list, <laughs> I have Edgardo. Okay, so we'll have to do it like this. We'll have um, Edgar Menjivar and Edgar Enriquez. I'm Alfredo. <laughs> okay, do okay. you prefer Alfredo then? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll just call you Alfredo then. Okay. okay. All right. Alfredo. Um, Eli. Present. Okay. Uh, Jose. And then I have, um, it would have to be Jose Antonio. Present. Okay. Well, excellent. And Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, perfect. So I have um, 
I'm taking attendance of everybody. Okay, great. Let's go back to our class. Um, okay, please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. You can see it? Yes, teacher. Great. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. So we have this conversation here between Luigi and Carla. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to be reading the conversation and I want everybody to follow me. Okay. So, um, you know, you can turn on your microphone and so that we can all hear you, but let's try to do it at the same time. Right. So don't, not doing like an echoes. Right. <laughs> okay. So let's try to, to hear everybody. Here you go. Let's start. Maybe. 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 We need to Maybe. add more pepperoni. We need, we need to, to add, add more, more, more pepperoni. pepperoni. Pizza. 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 So we get more customers. So we, so we get, get, more, get more, customers. more customers. But cheese. But, but cheese. Cheese. Is, cheese is better than pepperoni. 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 So it's not pepperoni, right? It's not pepperoni because pepperoni. it's in Spanish. It's pepperoni. 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 Good. Oh. Luigi. 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 I think our restaurant is too small. I think, I think our restaurant, restaurant is too small. Too small. The restaurant next door. The restaurant, the restaurant next door. door, next door oh. It's bigger than our pizzeria. It's, it's bigger, bigger than, than our pizzeria. 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 Good. Pizzeria, not pizzeria. 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 Remember that in English, it's you, you don't pronounce it pizza. It's not pizza. It's pizza. 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 Sounds like a T. Pizza. 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 And we, we, have, we, have, we to have to hire, hire a person, person to make deliveries. To, to make, make deliveries. deliveries. No, no. No, 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 no. The secret is in the sauce. The secret, the secret is, is in, in the, the sauce. sauce. In the sauce. Good. Please be careful. It's not sauce. Not sauce. It's just sauce. sauce. Not you. It's sus. Sauce. Sauce. Okay. So the U is like silent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's not the cheese or sauce. Luigi. We have to offer. We, we have, have, have to, to offer. offer. We have to offer. Table reservations. Table reservations. For regular customers. For regular, for regular customers. customers. And we don't receive. And, don't, and, and we don't receive. receive. Take out orders. So let's start with that. So let's so start let's with start that. With that. that. Yes, Carla. Yes, yes, yes Carla. Carla. You are genius. You are genius. You are genius. genius. Then we will add. Then we will add. We will add, add, add more cheese. More, more cheese. cheese and more sauce and, and more, more sauce. sauce. 
that will be the new specialty of the house. Specialty. 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 So please specialty. do not pronounce it as specialty. It's not as specialty. It's specialty. 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 Okay. Specialty. Do you have any questions? Any questions? No. No question. No questions at all? Okay, great. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to be getting you guys to work in pairs. First, you're going to practice this conversation. First time, if you are Luigi, then the second time you're going to be Carla. Okay, so you're going to take turns reading both parts. And I also want you to discuss with your partner after, okay, after you have practiced the conversation, you will discuss these questions. Oh, or better so not discuss it, but uh, write it, write the answers, right? So cheese is mm -mm, pepperoni. The restaurant next door is mm -mm, our pizzeria. And they have mm -mm, the decorations, mm, this place, right? So I want you to complete with the information according to the conversation. All right, is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, so I'm going to um, I'm going to be creating the groups. Um, again, uh, just a reminder, we're going to be working in pairs. Um, let me just make sure I have. Give me a second. Okay, so I think we should all have a, exactly a, a partner. So make sure that you do get into your groups and you are participating. Otherwise your partner will not have anybody to work with, okay? So let's open up all the rooms. Uh, read the conversation and answer the question uh, following um, and part below for the adjectives um, let me see um the fears first, first, she uh, is better than pepperoni is the first cheese is better than pepperoni and the second yeah. one is bigger down uh, the restaurant next so, door is bigger than or pizzeria remember also to practice the conversation right don't forget to to practice ah. Yes. Read the conversation is the uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. first read the Thank conversation, you. right? When you're finished reading, then you're going to um, read the um, sorry, complete the the exercise. Oh, perfect. Okay, you um. I am Luigi. <laughs> okay, um, you are Luigi and I am Carla. Yeah. Bigger. Hi, girls. Um, have, you, Hi. have you had the opportunity of practicing? Yes, and yes. we discussed the answers. Okay, but you practiced the conversation? Yes. Practice, you were, one of you is, was Luigi, the other one was Carla, and then you switched? Uh, uh, yes, switch, no. we will switch. <laughs> good, good. Okay, I will see you girls in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, they have more beautiful decoration. Um, do you have any questions? Yeah, uh, I have a problem. In... I can list. I can. I think here are my my comp. Uh, my compañero. Oh, you can't hear. Um, Irwin, can you hear us? I can listen to. I can listen to. There are problems. Uh, Dennis, you can't hear Irvin? When you, when, when Irvin talk, uh, I can understand because is uh, I hear a noise in, in, in the conversation. Oh, but you can hear him. I can hear the, I can hear, but is with noise in, 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 well, Cuando él habla, escucho ruido en el, en, el, en el momento de la conversación, entonces es difícil escuchar eh, lo que menciona. And Erwin, you as well cannot hear Dennis good? I listen, it's not me. Oh, okay. So there's a, probably a problem with the connection, with your internet connection. Yes, yes. Okay, let's try something. Yes. Let's try something uh, to see if maybe just for this activity so that, that it goes I, free. Okay. I, I in the chat, in the chat, I will write. Okay, how do you guys feel about, can you hear better? Hello, Erwin. Hello, similar. It's similar. It, yeah, it's similar. It's, it's mm -hmm. very... Okay, okay. Well, it's, it's, so, it's pretty much time to go back to the, to the room. So don't worry so much about it. Maybe um, tomorrow the internet connection will be better. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, no worries. No worries. Don't don't worry about it. To get the house, okay. I can leave this one. Are you here? Hi, guys. Are you finished? Yes. yes okay. I will see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Just continue talking. Okay. Hey, we have a break. <laughs> 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 Yes, bye-bye. Ah, so it's just okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm the... Luigi? No. Okay, Luigi. 
Luigi, okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni uh, to the pizza uh, so, the, so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the house, it is the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, which is, we have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more salsa uh, that will be the next specialty of the house, the specialty of the house. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. All right. So, uh, so we need a break, right? Huh? <laughs> no, we don't need a break. There is no break, just break cat rooms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we learn fast. We learn fast. <laughs> okay. So soon we'll get uh we'll get used to, to this read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know that it's always I mean we've been out for how long? Like for more than like two weeks, right? Or something like that. Like <laughs> I don't know how long we've been out, but it's been a long time, right? Uh, I think around two one weeks. week and a half, I guess. Oh, no. Uh, really? Yeah. No, two weeks. Really? Yeah. Oh, for me, it was so, <laughs> so fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we finished on the 21st. Of ah, okay. June. We finished the 21st, yeah. So definitely it's been exactly two weeks. So I know it's a little like, you know, after two weeks, sometimes like the body takes a little bit of time to get used to it or anything, but you guys will be okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so just, you know. All right, anyways, we're almost done, or, you know, just a few minutes left, you know, not too much. But um, okay, great. So let's actually go back and check that you guys got the correct answers. Um, so let's talk about this one. So cheese is? Better than. It is better than. Better than pepperoni. Right. OK, so let me Ew. write that down. OK, just give me a second. Let me write down better than. Better than. Better than. Okay. Okay, so better than pepperoni. Next, the restaurant next door is bigger than bigger than pizzeria. Good, bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful, beautiful, more beautiful, more beautiful decoration, decoration than, than this place. More, more, more beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, hold on, give me a moment. So we have more. Um, Hold on, more beautiful, 
So we have more beautiful, I don't know if, I'm probably gonna have to make this a little smaller. Okay, so more beautiful Decoration. decorations. Then displays. Then displays. Then displays. Then displays. Right. Okay, good. All right. So there we go. Okay, so that's um that wasn't probably too difficult to figure out because the the ax the answers are actually in bold according to the conversation. So that was probably a little bit easier. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about what is this whole thing about the better than bigger than, more beautiful than. Basically, those are adjectives that we use to compare. We are, when we are comparing two things or two people, okay? So whenever we compare two, not more, just two things or people, we use this, okay? So let's actually, um, let's talk about that. Uh, but, oh, hold on. Before, before we talk about that, let's do this vocabulary thing here. First, we're going to match the restaurant industry words to their meanings, okay? So first, let's try to, try to figure out what these words mean, okay? So we have here five words. First word, specialty. Second, buffet. Notice it's not buffet. It's buffet, okay? Buffet. So, yes, buffet. Buffet. This because word, from, comes from the French it. word, right? That's correct. In fact, um, English has a lot of uh, French words. And whenever we use the French word, uh, we pronounce it more like a kind of like a French kind of thing. It's not really, it's not exactly French because obviously, you know, we're not going to pronounce it exactly like a French, but it has more like a French pronunciation so that's why in you know in French if you guys know anything about French uh, French we do not pronounce uh, like many of the letters at the end of, of, the of end. French we do not pronounce them so that's why the letter T in French is silent so that's why we also in English pronounce it without the T so we say buffet buffet, buffet. buffet. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. The same, the same happens with words like um, like bouquet. Okay, so it's not bouquet, it's bouquet. We don't say we the, the, the letter T, we don't pronounce pronounce we don't no, say that letter. It. No, we don't pronounce it. Both are uh, palabras francesas. Yes, both of them are come from the French. Yes. Uh huh. So you know, we have a lot of French words in English. Lots. Really? Yeah. Fiance, for example, is common to use that. Fiance. You pronounce the e at the end because the e shows that it's a woman. Yes. Yeah, right. Although fiance, um, fiance. fiance would be actually fiance, it, like it, to be a woman in French is like this. If it's a man, it's like this. Mm -hmm. Right. So we. Oh, let's try. I see that you already know about French, teacher. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, hey. actually. <laughs> well, to be honest, um, French is. You my speak third, French. Huh? Third, French is technically my third language. Technically, oh, awesome. <laughs> really? um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's been like, oh, it's been like more than 18 years since I haven't really practiced it. So, Here, speaking Le Parle Francois, oh, so I want I, to listen it. I, I Ooh, don't teacher, know. please. <laughs> yes, I want to listen it. In French, I, I, in French. Thing, I don't speak it anymore. I. I can read it, I understand, I can hear it and understand it, but I can't speak it anymore. <laughs> I, it's it's been so long since I've- That I, is like a ride a bike. You don't, you never look. Oh, no. You don't never yeah. forget it. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> so actually, you know what, with, with languages, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um, that's why you should never stop learning English. Never stop because it's, you're going to forget it if you don't practice it. I promise you it happened to me. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, I, yeah. Definitely. Um, you know, I, I think that if I took uh, a French course again, I would start picking it up again. I, I will remember, um, you know, because I, I read something and I understand the, the general idea. But um, right now, just like, you know, it's, it's in the back of your brain right now. <laughs> yes, it's in the back of my brain. It lives right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So anyway, going back to this, um, yeah, we have words. Oh, there's an, like another one, entrepreneur. Oh, yes, entrepreneur. What's another French word? Okay. Toilet. Yes. Uh, toilet. Toilet, uh-huh. Uh, resume, right? Resume. It's not resume. <laughs> it's resume. It's actually... Um, yeah, with, with the, there's an accent there. Um, and the so stress on. is in the first E, E, right? Mm -hmm. A in that case. Yes. Resume. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, there's a lot of words anyways. Mm -hmm. and, and for fiancé in English, is there any difference in the pronunciation with one E or both E's? In English, it's no. The same. Okay. Actually, in French, it, the, it's not for your fiancé. Fiancé. The difference is written when you write it. Mm -hmm, exactly. The difference. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and in French Canadian, okay, French Canadian, um, we use this word. You guys will, um, you'll, you'll pick it up. Okay. You know what that means, right? No? No. This word like right one here? The table is similar to the one in Spanish? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, so, but that's French Canadian. Okay, uh, French Canadian. Uh, we use the word uh, serviette. Um, like I said, that's more like a, a more of a Canadian word, not so much American. So, but it's good to know. It's good to know. Um, so, yeah. So, you, you will, you, if you hear somebody saying a serviette, they're probably Canadian. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but a napkin, uh, right? A napkin in, in American English, yes. Yeah. And so on. Anyways, going back to this, I'm I'm getting I'm I'm getting uh, sidetracked. Okay, so going back to this, uh, uh we have book a table, right? Okay. And then we have take out and delivery. So I don't know if you had the already the uh, the opportunity of matching, but if not, I'll give you one minute to do that. I think especially is what is the correct pronunciation of the first word? Sorry? What is the pronunciation of the first word? Specialty? Specialty. Yes. Okay. Specialty, not speciality. Specialty. Specialty. Mm -hmm. Yes, specialty. Stress is on the first syllable. Okay, how are you guys doing? Finished? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. All right, what would we say is the specialty? What's the, what is the number for specialty? This, that uh, is extremely good. That is good in a particular, in a particular restaurant. restaurant. Oh, wait a second, no, it would be the other way around. Okay, sorry. Um, Yeah, okay, there we go. So this one be number one. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. 
Okay, so number one, a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, good. Uh, buffet. Different it's a different dish where people serve themselves. Yes. Excellent. Book a table. To make a reservation. To make a reservation at a restaurant. Good. To make a reservation at a restaurant. Good. Um, take out. A package of meals that you can eat away from the restaurant. Excellent. And finally, delivery. You can call a restaurant and they take it to your home. Wonderful. Okay. So I hope everybody has these uh, these answers. Any other problems? Any other questions that you have? Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing everybody understands this. So we're going to move on to the next part. The next activity um, is comparing adjectives or comparative adjectives. So remember those, those words that we have um, better than, more beautiful than, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to learn how to use them. So it, we have, so it says here, use the comparative form of adjectives to compare two people, two things, or two animals. The key word here is two, not three, not four, not five, not 10, not 20, or a thousand. It's only two, okay? So if you're going to compare more, that we're not gonna be able to use this. It's only for two, okay? Example. Delivery service is better than takeout. Here, what we're doing is we're comparing the delivery service with the takeout. Okay, sounds good? Yes. Okay, good. So um, let's, um, let's, I'm actually gonna ask a volunteer to help me read um, this part here and the examples. Who can help me read? This, the, 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 ex, the explanation and the examples. I can. Okay, go for it, please. Okay, so when the adjective has one or two syllables, made a comparative by ending er to the end of the adjective, then use done after the adjective, the buffet restaurant, on the corner is cheaper than the one of, on Main Street. The waiters at the French Toast are faster than the waiters at the Bond Cafe. Thank you. Okay, thank you very, very much. Okay, good. So when you have, so here we have to be careful on how many syllables the adjective has. That's the first thing you gotta do. You have to understand what, how many syllables it has. So you have to count. If it has only one syllable, or if you have two syllables, it's going to just add the word ER at the end, the letters ER, and then we're gonna use the word then. For example, the word cheap. How many syllables does the word cheap have? Two? One. One. Only one. Cheap, right? So that's why we say cheaper. We had just add the ER. And then we use the word then. In the case of fast, how many syllables? Two. Two. Fast. 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 One. 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 Right? And so that's why we're just going to put ER faster. And then we use the word then. Is that pretty clear? Is that simple? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yes. All right. Great. Now I need another volunteer to help me read this part, the uh, explanation and the examples. Who can help me with that? I can help. Uh, Great. Thank you. Go for it, Ana Claudia. Okay. When the adjective has more than two syllables, use 
more before the adjective and then after it. Examples, all restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Okay, good. So then if you count the, the syllables and there are more than two, so more than two, I'm talking about that it's three or four or five. Most of the words in English will not go more than five. Okay, so I don't, you know, I don't think there are going to be very many adjectives that have like more than five. So it's just going to be either be three, four or five. In that case, what you do is you take the adjective and before the adjective, we use the word more. We don't do anything to the adjective. We don't change the adjective. We just keep the adjective, except that at the beginning, we use the word more. <clears throat> and we continue using the word then after it. Example, <clears throat> beautiful. How many syllables does beautiful have? Four. Three. Three. Five. Three. Five. Three. How many syllables? Syllables. Five. Five. Uh, four, five, four, five, three, three, five. In the mind. Okay. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Four. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> let's do it together. Beautiful. Two. Beautiful. Three. Three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three. Is beautiful or beautiful? Well, beautiful. when we say it together, we will say beautiful. But, um, you know, if you're, um, if you are going to be um, slicing the, the syllables, we would pronounce the T. And if you are British, you would also pronounce the T. So a British person would say beautiful. Okay. okay. <clears throat> no, but American English would definitely say beautiful. Um, but anyways, whether it's, it's uh, beautiful or, beauti or beautiful, it's always going to be three syllables. Beautiful, so, so it's always going to be three. Okay, so that's why we're going to say more beautiful than. <clears throat> Notice we, we keep the adjective the same. We don't do anything to the adjective. Okay, we just put the word more. So it's not possible to say more beautifuler. Okay, that does not exist. We cannot combine the more and the ER together. Okay, so this is one way to uh, make a comparative. That's an, this is another way to make a comparative. Okay, what about this one? Expensive, how many syllables? Expensive, three. 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 Right, expensive, three. right? So again, three, that's why we'd say more expensive than, but never say more expensive -ler. okay? That's not possible, okay? And then there, and this is like, I mean, th these ones only have three syllables, but there are words like spectacular, spec, so spectacular, right? So we have four, right? Um, incredible four as well, right? Um, so there is many, many, many words. Uh, spontaneous four, right? And there are five, but um, they're, they're very rare. Okay, but there are five. I just can't think of anything right now from the top of my head. Anyways, to let's look at some examples, okay? because um, we have some examples here, but I wanna add more, okay? So <clears throat> first one, my house is bigger than yours. Bigger, how many syllables bigger. is bigger? One. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One. how many syllables is big? One. 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 Big is one. one. That's why we put bigger, okay? Now, something that I want you, I want you to notice is actually with this one, we added another G. You know why? Yes, the rule is consonant, vowel consonant as the last one. Right, so the rule is basically if we have, I like to call 
the rule of the one, one, one. What is the rule of the one, one, one? When we have one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant. That's why I like to call it as the rule of the one, 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 because one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant. In the case of big, big is only one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant. Okay, so that's why we double the consonant and put ER. Okay. Another one, the Pacific Ocean is deeper than, than the Arctic Ocean. Ocean. Mm -hmm. So here, deep is only one syllable, and that's mm -hmm. why we put ER. We do not come, we do not uh, do a double, uh, a double syllable, sorry, uh, a double consonant because here there are two vowels, not one. So deep finishes in two vowels and one consonant. Okay? Yep. Yes. And then we have, my brother is taller than I am, but he is older too. So here, the word tall is only one syllable and we put ER. Now tall, just the adjective tall, it, we, um, it, it, we already have two, two consonants. So obviously we're not gonna be adding another consonant. And um, old, again, old is one syllable. So we just put ER, excuse me, older, okay. And then we have examples of ones that are, we use the more. Oh no, sorry, there's still one more. The earth is larger than the moon. Larger, uh, how many syllables is large? One. one. That's one. why we add the R. In this case, we only add an R, why? Does because the N in, in a vowel consonant. or in the letter E. Right, because we already finished, the, the word already finishes in an E. So you're not going to double an E. Okay, so just going to put, you're just going to add the R. Okay. Now with uh, adjectives that are more than one vowel, for example, we have polite. Okay, polite. So we have, you are more polite than Joey. Polite, two syllables. A rose is more beautiful than a daisy. So notice more beautiful. Okay. Learning Japanese is more difficult than learning Italian. So beautiful, three syllables. Difficult, three syllables. So you're going to say more difficult, more beautiful. So far, so good? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, so far so good. Okay. Yes. And then there are exceptions to this rule that even though um, we are not taught this at this point in the in the book, but I want you to be aware of them. The rule, uh, the exceptions to the rules are, for example, a pint less. is less than a quart. Okay. So less, right? We don't say more less or lesser, it's, just, it's, just, it's less, less is less, okay? It's farther from New York to Austin than it is from New York to Nashville. Farther is the comparative form of the verb far. So far is not far, no, it's just farther. So that's another exception, farther. farther. Okay, so this comes from the, the adjective far. And another exception is your grade is worse. worse than mine. Worse comes from the adjective bad. bad. Okay? Yep. So if it's like more, you can't say more bad or more badder. It doesn't exist. So that's why we say worse. Okay. 
Okay, so any questions about that? Questions. Okay, no but questions. there were like, uh, like a fa feathers. Sorry? I don't, I don't understand why, uh, what is the reason change the word? Um, but está la de lejos. Father, it's the number nine. Oh, because it's an exception. These three, the last three are exceptions. It's like a, a, a irregular. Yes, like a, an irregular, exactly. They're okay. irregular. Okay. okay. So, you know, that's why since they're irregular, there's no rule. You know, not a logical rule. Let's put it that way. It's not a logical rule. Are there a lot of them or just those? Um, there's probably, I think, like maybe two or three more. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Oof. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So don't, don't worry so much. Okay. Uh, the word worst is worst with T or worst without T? No, worst is a superlative form. It's when you're comparing more than one object. This is comparing sorry, more than one, two, sorry, more than two objects. But here we're only comparing two. So for two, we're gonna be using worse. Worse. Oh, okay. Worse. Perfect. If you compare one is worse, and if you compare more than one, it's worse. More than two. Uh, when you are comparing two, we use worse. And where you're comparing more than two is the worst. But that's another topic. And we're not going to get into <laughs> Yeah, that's another topic. Okay, teacher. And another question is when the word ending in Y, right? You change Y for E, I, and add E, R. That's right. Yes, yeah, so there's another rule. Of course, like, I mean, there's more than this. I just wanted to show you some more examples, but yes, um, there are a little bit more rules. Any other questions? Those uh, adjectives are the most common uses, right? Um. What do you mean? Okay, that we use those adjectives more than on others. Yeah, these adjectives are very common. Not the only adjectives that exist, but yes, they're very, they're fairly common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, um, that's going to be all for today. So we have come to the end of our class. Um, and so what I'm going to ask you guys to do for homework is this activity that you're going to be doing the exercises, which is to complete the statements using the comparative form of the adjectives and parentheses, which is in your book, right? So um, it shouldn't be too difficult to do. I would say it's going to take you like five minutes to do five, 10 minutes. Like if you're really slow, probably 10 minutes, but it shouldn't take you longer than that. Okay. So um, I'm gonna leave you guys to do that for homework and we'll check them tomorrow. But before we leave, I'm going to be checking our attendance. So just tell me if you are present, just quickly open up your microphone so I can see that you are present or not, okay? So, um, hold on. Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Uh, Javi? Present. Andres? Present teacher. Dennis? Present teacher. Um, Edgar Menjivar? Present teacher. Uh, Edith Jorleni? Edwin? Sorry, sorry, Edwin. Edwin? Okay, great. Uh, Fabiola? Heidi? 
Present teacher. Okay, Irene. Present teacher. Okay, Ivan. Josue. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Jury. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Jury, today we have the one-on-one -on -one class. Um, so it, um, so you can stay after, okay. Uh, okay. Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Manuel. Uh, Natalia. Present. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Suleyma. Present. Eh, eh, uh, Edgar uh, Enriquez. I'm here. Uh, Elizabeth or Ellie. Present. Uh, Jose Montes. Present. And Jose Ayala. Present, true. Okay, wonderful. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, that will be all for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to do the homework, okay? So okay. take care and have a good night. Thank you. Okay, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hola, teacher. Hello, Jerry. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, well, I tried to resolve the problem that is in the portal, but I had problem with I tried to write the sentence when I send the the my it's when I send the solution, I receive a message that anyone anything is good. I don't know is if we can resolve that task right now, or we need to we need to wait for something that you must to update there, or we can do it. Um, okay. Um, which what what is it that you're having problems with? For example, you wrote there an um, an example that you put on put on the class was, um, let me see, my house is bigger than your. And I write in the same way, but I received the message that it's incorrect. Okay, so this is from the, uh, the number, um, the homework number one, right? Mm, that's right. Okay, let me see, let me check. Okay, um, what did you write? My house is bigger than your. Okay, so very simple, very, very simple, Jerry. Just don't write the whole sentence, just the answer. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Okay, let me see. That is <laughs> Let's let's see what happens. Uh, bigger, bigger than. Right. Did it work? That's right. Because in the last session, I remember that we we wrote all sentence, but in this case, yeah, is it better in that way? Because sometimes uh, I, something is different, and some sentence, and then we we try and try and try. <laughs> we didn't uh, I know. The yeah, 
No, yeah, exactly. I know. So that's why it's it's this. That's why it's very good these one-on-one, uh, one uh, one-on-one sessions, right? Because you are able to um, get more information, um, and instead of like, you know, wasting your time and writing and writing, then you just ask, and I can help you. Okay, excellent. And then other question is, I, I, I is is bueno que esté de nuevo con nosotros en el grupo. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be with you as well, Jerry. Uh, excellent. I, I am learning a lot, a lot of with you. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy about that. Yes. Well, that's what teacher. we're here for, to help. Excellent, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your help. Yeah, no, you're welcome. And thank you for, for always, um, you know, participating. And, you know, that's, that, that makes a very big difference. Uh, you know, if you want to learn something, I think you need to be involved. So, and it's very important that you participate. So that's good. Excellent. I try to do this all the time. I, 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 will, I sometimes I, I lose on the conversation, but I, I try. Yeah. I mean, almost. Yeah, right, thank you. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you're welcome, Jerry. Anything else I can help you with? No, just the city that I think that I am going to buy this. I am going to resolve this. Uh, uh, other question. I, I <laughs> saw that we have a uh, homework for tomorrow. I guess that is the, the complete this, this statement using the com comparative form of the adjective in par parentheses. Right, that's exercise that, number six. That is, Exercise number six on page Are we going 10. to do that? Yeah. Right. Um, right. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I am going to do it. Good. 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 Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Oh. Have a good night, teacher. Thank you. You as well. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.